Greetings to everyone in the name of Jesus. Saints, we just want to say that we love you so much. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan has to flee. Tell me. Tell me. Who shall be holy when we call on that great name? Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory in the name of Jesus. I wanted to come on here, tell you all that I love you so much, so much, and um, to let you know that we were not able to come on today due to technicalities, amen having problem with my internet um connection i was not able to uh come on this morning but i just want to say that i thought about you amen pray for you in the name of jesus and i missed you all i didn't want the day to go by without coming on to tell y'all that i love you so much and i pray that everything okay is shaping up the way you're desiring because you have god's uh desire amen when we desire what the lord wants amen our prayers are answered speedily amen when we desire the things that the lord have for us the things that the lord desire for us uh that means we're not praying amiss to consuming upon our own lust but we really have the kingdom at heart amen we really have the kingdom in heart amen the kingdom in heart and i just love y'all so much i can't uh stop saying that um I'm thinking like, uh, Lord, should we, um, should we walk on water? Should we, since it's, uh, the afternoon. Okay. Um, let's, let's go to John chapter 17. Amen. Let's go to John chapter 17 and verse one. All right. John chapter 17, verse one. Father God, I pray that you would go before us, Lord, in this podcast, Lord. I know that this is normally uh, not the time, Lord, that we come on, Lord God. But I pray, Lord God, that you would anoint our podcast, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that you would give me the words to speak, Lord, that the words that someone uh, might need to hear, Lord, in the name of Jesus, to help them out in their situation, Lord, to help help someone see more clearly hear more clearly lord in the name of jesus and be able to understand what you're doing lord in their life lord i thank you for going before those that will come in and listen lord i thank you for going uh before them lord their minds their hearts their eyes their ears lord lord i thank you lord god for creating in us a clean heart and renewing every day renewing giving us that renewal of a right spirit lord in the name of jesus lord thank you for allowing us to be your your children thank you lord hallelujah thank you jesus lord thank you for allowing us to be your children uh in the name of jesus we pray amen 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 i pray for every teacher leader reacher okay um uh, son daughter of god amen that we would uh that the lord would continue to order our steps in his word amen in the name of jesus and so john chapter 17 verse 1 says these words spake jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee amen that thy son may also glorify thee and looking at uh uh father's relationship and jesus relationship with father father's relationship with jesus i just see something that i just really admire like don't you like admire this relationship like uh, it's a partnership and this is what we've been grafted into those of us that are saying yes Lord we've been grafted into the partnership where he said what whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven and I just think it's I, I just believe that it's a it's a phenomenal thing amen I love uh, looking at that partnership amen because I learned so much um, from from viewing 
viewing it. Amen. I learned so much um, from viewing it. Don't not quite know if we're going to need my laptop. But let me go on and get it in uh, just in case we do. I have it right here. But um, yeah, it's it's amazing. I love uh, that partnership. And the same partnership he has with the Lord, Jesus said, if you believe on me, if you believe in me, if you believe the words that I said to you, you too can have eternal life. Amen. You too can have eternal life. Do you believe? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, do you believe? Saints, I believe. I do believe all things are possible if you only believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe all things are possible. If you only believe, amen, the believers, the believers, amen. And so this is a partnership. So he said, father, the hour is come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee as thou has given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him. And this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. All right. That thou may know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. All right. So without everybody saying that God is Jesus and Jesus is God, you know, it's preposterous. You understand? Like Jesus is God is not going to be like, uh, hey, I'm sitting on my right side. Right. Um, I'm the father and I'm sitting on my right side. God is not going to be like that. You know what I'm saying? He he's he, he's just is just extra, right? No, Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Amen. And uh, people that get that misconstrued, you know, it's it's almost like they want to. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about them getting that uh, misunderstanding is that uh, they they're one of the ones that um. They, they, when, when, when Jesus said, you have to believe on me, they don't, they don't believe on Jesus. They believe Jesus is God. And so that whole, it's just, it's really sad. You know, when you stop and think, it's really sad because they don't believe on Jesus. They believe on God. They believe Jesus is another name that God had. And it's just like, wow. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Amen. So in verse three said, and this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work thou hast gavest me to do. Good God. Did you hear that? Jesus. Okay. Was able to say, uh, he was able to say, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. That is just, I mean, when you talk about somebody that succeeded, good God Almighty, I'm talking about a real succeeding. Good God. Jesus finished the work that 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 father gave him on earth I, I mean that's just a miracle it's amazing it's amazing it is and and he said that okay i in verse four i have glorified thee on the earth i have finished the work which thou gavest me to do and now O oh father glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I have with thee before the world was. Okay, before the world was. Verse 5 is a key factor to Genesis. Do you understand me? Do you understand? Do I said, do you understand with me? Do you understand me? Okay, verse 5 is a key factor 
over in Genesis. All right. Many people have that mystery there. Uh, a, a star, a mystery block. Okay. With a little, a couple of factors in it because of something that said in Genesis, but the key verse here in verse five says, and now, O oh father, glorify thou me with thine own self. Okay. With the glory, which I have with thee. Okay. Excuse me. With the glory, which I had. Okay. Past tense with thee before the world was. Now Jesus is saying, okay, Lord, uh, before the world was the glory that I had with you, but Lord, uh, father, you wanted to send me to the earth. Okay. To do this thing. Right. So now, so now that I finished the work, Lord, can I have that father? Can I have that glory back that I had? All right. And I came down here. Okay. We, 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 we walked this thing out, walked it out, walked it out, walked it out. I taught the guys that was with me, you know, I witnessed for your name, Lord. I, I went through, suffered, Lord. Now, Lord, if it please you, okay, can I have, okay, the, give me that glory, which I had with you before the world was. Now, many people will go over to the book of Genesis. Many people have the question, who in the world was with God when he talk about let us, let us make man in our image. Let us do this and let us do that. Well, verse five is the answer. Amen. Verse five is the answer. Okay. God did everything himself up until it was time to create man. All right. Because when it came time to create man, all right. Um, it's almost like this, Jesus, uh, I'm going to send you. So come on. Cause since these are your shoes or since these are going to be your clothes or this skin is going to be the skin that you're going to be in. Come on, me and you can craft this together since, uh, you're going to have to ride in it. Of course I'm going to be in you, but you're going to have to walk in this skin. So come on, let us make man in our image. So, you know, it's just like these shoes, you're going to be wearing it. So, Hey, let's go ahead and do this. Right? So when we look at verses, um, Verse, verse 26 of Genesis chapter one, Genesis chapter one, verse 26 says, and God said, let us make man. All right. In our image after our likeness. Okay. So he's God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So verse 27, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Okay. So, and God said, let us make man in our image. Who in the world was he talking to? And now, O oh father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory, which I had with you before the world was. Amen. Verse six says, I have manifested thy name unto the men, which thou gavest me out of the world. Then they were, and thou gavest me, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Amen. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, 
and they have believed that thou didst send me. Now, verse 8, saints, is a doozy, all right? And I know that we come on podcasts, and I and, and m- the main reason we come on podcasts is to stay sharp, amen? Iron sharpened iron. Well, well, Lord, why in the world do I need to be sharpened when I'm already iron? Well, sometimes iron can get a little dull, all right? But iron sharpens iron, so we come to stay sharp. And we come to make sure every day... You know, we get dirty sometimes. We get dirty. We get in the mud. Yeah, we do. We get in the mud. We get in situations and stuff. And the Lord says, I I, I know that you're made of flesh. We don't give ourselves an excuse to get dirty, but sometimes we get dirty. And what do we do? Come back to the washing of the water of the word. If we choose not to come back to the water of the washing of the word, this is when we get in trouble. This is when we have no excuse because we say, Lord, you know, I got dirty. And the Lord is like, why didn't you come to the watering hole to get clean? Huh? Why didn't you come to the watering hole? And sometimes the answer is, well, Lord, is because I kind of like the sin that I'm in. I kind of like what I'm doing. I, it kind of feels good. It kind of feels great. And, and the more I do it, the less I feel like coming to be cleansed again. But how many know when it all boils down? Amen. When it all boils down, we're going to thank God that we still had the will, the willingness to be clean by the washing of the water of the word. We still have the will. Are you willing to come? Are you willing to be clean? Are you willing to hear? And not just hear, but verse eight says a whole lot. And, and it seems like we already, it seems like we're already, uh, uh, it seems like the Lord is already expecting a lot from us, right? Like we're already uh, trying to do this and trying to stay clean and staying, trying to stay righteous and trying to stay holy. But I'm telling you, having the Holy Ghost, it just makes things a little bit, a lot better. Excuse me. It makes things a lot better because he leads us and guides us in all truth and righteousness. Amen. And everything, the do's and the don'ts and the do's and the don'ts, it, it stops being so hard and it starts being a delight. You know what I mean? Like it really starts being a delight, you know? And so verse eight though, if Jesus really broke it down, you understand? We're going to break this down like Jesus did. Said, for I have given unto them, talk about the disciples, talk about the ones that would listen. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. Okay. So he gave the words which father gave him. Listen, and listen, this part, they have received them. Every time we give words, it don't mean that the recipient is going to receive those words. So while we are uh, in a classroom and the teacher is teaching, she's doing her job, but our job is to what? Receive what she's saying. And there are many that don't receive. They listen, but they don't receive. And so they're not doing their part. And when we don't do our part to receive the words that God has given, then it's to no avail. Then we've listened in vain and it does not make our life any better. It does not bring a cleansing. It does not bring a washing. It does not bring a stirring. It does not bring a changing. It does not bring a rearranging this thing. It don't bring nothing. It's just something else we just wanted to do. And that's it. But now it's time to be receptive and receiving causes is like throwing a a rock into uh, water. Have you ever seen water that didn't receive the rock? I've never seen water that didn't receive the rock. As a matter of fact, you can throw whatever you want to throw in that water and it's going to receive it. You understand? Because water most often times have depth to it. And anything that's thrown in that water, the water receives it because that's just nature. Like you can throw an old boot in the water and the water is going to receive it. The boot is not just going to stay on top of the water and the water has depth. The water is going to receive that boot. 
Amen. It's going to receive that rock. Okay. So you and I, we have to be receptive of the word of God. Jesus said, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me and they have received them. Listen to this and have known surely that I came out from thee. So not just did they receive the word, but now they know this is not just anybody. This is somebody that came from Abba Father. All right. This is somebody that came from Abba Father. And the reason I, I look at Jesus and I just marvel because he just was a superb teacher. Lord, I thank you for the, 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 the know-how. Thank you for the anointing to be able to teach like you did, Jesus. Because your teaching, the people received your teaching, Lord. Your teachings, they understood. They, 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 they when, when you were done and finished, they left knowing of a surety that that you came from father and and that comes from them addressing the kingdom of god like a child and it comes from jesus being a superb teacher like jesus was like boom 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 like like voice traveling like waters and like he was just he was the teacher of, of our teachers. He was the teacher for teachers. He's the teacher for teachers. And I'm going to tell you how, how much I know this. All right. I'm going to tell you how much I know this. Because he said, when I go, um, Father's going to send back a comforter in my name. And this comforter called the Holy Ghost is going to do what? Lead you and guide you in all truth and righteousness. All right. So what is that? I'm going to. I'm going to be teaching you. So he is the, he is the teacher, right? Ain't no better teacher than Jesus. Come on now. Come through, come through Holy Ghost, come through Holy Ghost. So he's just a great, he's just the best teacher. And when he was done with these, they had an assurity that Jesus came from thee and they have believed that thou didst send me. That's a lot. That's a lot. Verse nine says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them, which thou has given me for they are thine. Now, why did Jesus not pray for the world? Well, my guess is because the prayers of the righteous avail much. And Jesus didn't want the, the world to avail. Is that, does that, does that make sense? Jesus didn't want the world to avail. Um, okay, look. Avail. Avail means to help or benefit, right? And when you look at the world. Do they already benefit? They really do. They don't they benefit from a lot. They do. So Jesus is like, um, I really I'm not praying for the world. Because the world love its own. They're gonna they're gonna um make sure their own succeed. Right? They're gonna pour into their own. But my prayers, since the prayers of the righteous avail much, that's me, that is I. So my prayers, I have to be careful where I place my prayers. So my prayers is not for the world, but my prayer, okay, is for them, which thou has given me for they are yours and all mine are thine and thine are mine and I am glorified in them and now I am no more in the world but these are in the world and I come to thee holy father keep through thine own name those whom thou has given me that they may be one as we are one and that is our whole message over here on the podcast 
We are the bride of Christ and all of us must connect together as one, just as they are one. Can't you see that this, this was Jesus's prayer. Lord, let them connect as one, as we are one. Amen. As we are one. It, the verse 11 again says, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name. Listen, Jesus said, Holy Father. Okay, what else does this mean? It means hallowed. Hallowed means sanctified, holy, sacred. So Jesus said, Lord, I know every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. But Lord, I'm asking you from the abundance of my heart. From the depths of my soul, Lord, Father, Holy Father in, not my name, Lord, but Holy Father in your name. In the sacred, hallowed, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled name. Your name, Father. This is what I need because I know I have to go away to prepare, to prepare a place that where I am, there they may be also. But Lord, I... I Need you, Lord, Holy Father. I need you by your own name, which is greater than mine, by your name, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou has given me, that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word and the world hath hated them because they are not of the world. Even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So it's just like Peter, uh, Peter, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. But my prayer is that what you hold fast, Peter, Satan desires to sift you as wheat. All right. I'm not going to pray that Satan don't sift you because you need to be sifted, but I'm going to pray that you stand right. And just like in verse 15, Lord, Holy Father, I'm praying, Lord, not that you take them out of the world. Don't kill them. Don't take them out of the world, but that you would keep them from the evil. Keep them from the evil mindset. Keep them from the evil heart. Keep them from the evil path, okay? The, the broad way that leads to destruction. Lord, keep them on the path of righteousness. Keep them on the path of holiness. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Many people want us to denounce this truth in the Bible. Many people want us to shun this truth in the Bible. But can you see that Jesus, his prayer, so earnest, so selfless, okay? Lord, sanctify them. Lord, keep them from evil. Lord, sanctify them through your truth. Your word is true. But the same word Jesus prayed for us to be sanctified by, people are trying to rip it away from us. It's our, uh, it's our due diligence to tell them, no, you will not take the word of God from me. You can go believe what you want to believe, but I'm going to stand on eternal life. As thou has sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Okay. And for their sakes, 
I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their words. Right? So not just these that are saved, but because Lord, I pray that you leave them in the world. Why? Well, because these are seeds and I, I witness to these seeds and I water these seeds. Now, Lord, I need these seeds to stay planted. Lord, don't uproot them, but let them stay planted. And I pray that you would keep them from the foul by day. I pray that you would keep them from the buzzers plucking them up by the root. I pray that you would keep them from all these types of beasts, okay, in the field, plucking them out of the root. Keep them from evil, Lord, okay, while they grow like a tree planted by the rivers of water, shall not be moved. And they're going to be those that they are going to spread this gospel to. So not just them, Lord, but for the ones that they give this word to. I'm praying for them as well, okay? says neither pray I for these alone but for them also which shall believe on me through their word okay that they all may be one as thou father art in me and I in thee that they also may be one in us us is two Amen. Don't us mean too. So people say God is Jesus and Jesus is God. He would not use us. Amen. It's so simple and plain. Amen. Uh, that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou gavest me. I have given them that they may be one even as we are one. I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one. He keeps saying in one and that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am. Good God. He's like, Lord, I want him to be with me that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me for thou lovest me before what the foundations of the world. Let us make man in our image. Lord, you love me before the foundation of the world. Oh, righteous father, the world have not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Saints, I mean, if you ever, ever, ever wondered in your beautiful mind, what kind of prayer is Jesus praying for us right now? You just heard it. If you ever wondered, if you ever told anybody, Jesus is, Jesus is, uh, he's, he's keeping us in prayer, y'all. He's holding us in prayer. You know, he's just, you know, standing in the gap. If you ever wonder some of the things what uh, that Jesus is saying, these we just talked, we just read it. Isn't it beautiful? Lord, uh, don't take them from the world, but just keep them from evil. You know, all these beautiful things that he said, Lord, Lord, sanctify them in your truth for your word is true. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All that. But what is our part? Our part is to make sure we stand up for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus is doing his part, but what are we doing? Are we standing up when people say that Bible ain't nothing? Them wor Y'all just worship that Bible. We don't worship no Bible. We worship Abba Father. Amen. Who which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And these are the words that he left for us. And we cherish these words. You hear me? We cherish them with our life. You know why? Because it is life. It is love and it's liberty. Amen. And while the same ones that want to strip the word away from us, they won't tell you, but they're going through hell. A lot of them scared to go to sleep at night. You understand? They don't know if they don't wake up where they're going to be at. So, saints, it's, it's, it's up to us 
to 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 hold the standard up amen if you are one that still believe in the word of god if you are one that still believe in the in in the words that jesus left for us let me tell you you keep making your stand keep making your stand because as the days keep going times are going to get darker people are going to try to make us feel more foolish about believing the words of the lord amen with you and i we don't care what folks think. They, Jesus already said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. Why? Because you're not of them. And because you're not of them, you kind of make them feel, you know, you know, they just don't feel right. You know, just don't feel right. Uh, uh, because you are showing that it is possible to live a clean life. You are showing that it is possible to live a safe life. You're showing that it is possible to treat others the way you want to be treated. Everybody else want to claim and prove and say that this word is too much. I can't nobody live like that. But you make people mad because you're living proof. Yes, you can. And you can do it with ease. Uh huh. You can smile at somebody and hold the door for somebody, and give somebody a kind word, and and you don't even want nothing in return. You're just showing the love of God. And sometimes people don't like that because you showing me without knowing, you're showing me how I'm supposed to be acting. You're showing me what I'm supposed to be doing. Amen. So saints, I just wanted to come on. I didn't want the day to go past and we didn't um, break bread together. Amen. I want to say I love you so much. This prayer really encouraged me because Jesus is just that concerned about you. Okay. He is just that concerned about me. And because he's so concerned about us, it just makes me want to, you know, have anybody ever treated you so kind? Oh my goodness, they treat you so kind. And you felt like, I just want to give everything I got to this person. And I might not have much, but I want to give them all the love that I can. I want to give them all the support that I can. If they need a hug, if they need wisdom, if they need a shoulder to cry on, I want to give this person everything I got because they're so kind hearted, because they're so nice and they treated me so nice. Well, reading this prayer that Jesus prayed to Father, it just makes me want to give him even more, you know, because he, he was praying for those that had heard him. But he said, not for these alone, Lord, not for these alone, okay, but for those that will hear the word. So he prayed for me even before I was, you know, even before I was born. And I'm like, Lord, I, Lord, show me what else I can do for you. Show me what else I can do. Show me what, tell me what else I can say. Show me, show me, Lord, because I just, I'm just, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it, saints. Amen. I'm in it to win it. I just love God so much. And I love you too, because guess what? You reflect him. Did, did you hear what I said to you? You reflect him. I love you so much for it. Amen. And saints, I love you so much. Lord's willing will be on in the morning. Amen. Until next time, be blessed. In Jesus' name.